Peering through time and space, Quantum Future Hub presents the remarkable synchrony between technology and the cosmos. The Majorana chip, housed within Earth's grip, resonates with a lunar pulse from the moon's oldest crater. Beneath the ice, a silent ocean stirs. Like the universe itself, we are on the brink of uncharted depths, connected by intricate quantum threads. So, let us embark on this cosmic journey of discovery. It has a liquid ocean underneath the ice cover. Who would have thought? What if a quantum chip in a lab on Earth just picked up a pulse beam from the moon's South Pole Aitken Basin, the oldest, deepest crater in the solar system? In a routine test of a prototype Majorana chip, engineers saw a perfect sync between the chip's readout and a faint energy spike timed precisely with the crater's lunar rotation. This isn't science fiction. It's happening now. In the next 20 minutes, we'll break down the data, trace how a chip built for quantum computing became an unintended lunar receiver, and explore the jaw-dropping theories that could rewrite our understanding of both the moon and quantum technology. The pulse that shouldn't exist. During a vacuum chamber trial, the Majorana chip was mapping qubit coherence times when a sudden blip appeared, an energy pulse unlike any thermal fluctuation or cosmic ray strike. The timestamp matched the exact moment the South Pole Aitken Basin came into direct line with the lab's GPS lock clock. No satellite relay, no Earth-based transmitter, no known natural source could account for the signal's timing or spectral profile. The pulse lasted just 17 milliseconds. Hey there, don't miss out on our unique insights and regular content. Tap that subscribe button and join the Quantum Future Hub family today.